Hello everyone and welcome back to more Let's Play Legend of Lagaya. My name is Rabbit and in our previous episode we finally made it to Byron Monastery and everything worked out as well as we ever could have hoped. We ended up finding May's mother named Maya alive and well and she was as jovial and bubbly as ever. And Noah actually got along really well with her so you would think that this would be a wonderful reunion but of course things did take a turn for the more sour note when we did reveal to Maya that her husband Juno had passed away and that was kind of why we came to retrieve her. Well she kind of ran off to cry and we are at our little dinner party right now and Zopu asked if we would be willing to revive two of the Genesis trees near us. There's one in West Bosphorus and one in East Bosphorus and he's now presenting us with the opportunity to choose which forest we will investigate first. Now I did say in our previous episode that oh many of you probably know what I'm going to choose but you know for those of you who are new I do want to let you know if you are playing along with this walkthrough and with me. Even if you choose East Bosphorus towards the Northeast you won't be able to go there first. So I usually opt to just say, I wanna to go to the West Boss Forest because that's the one that you have to go to first. But I mean, again, it's up to you. This is one of those little dialogue options where it doesn't really change the outcome of anything except what some people say. I guess just to be difficult, I will say East Boss Forest and you'll see what I mean when I say that it won't let us choose this even if we wanted to. So I'm going to say to his question, Vaughn, tell me which forest we go to first. East Voss Forest in the Northeast. Ah, since East Voss Forest is farther from the mist source, perhaps its Genesis tree is safe. Hey, wait a minute. What is it, Songy? I'll go to East Voss Forest for you. I know my way around there. But Songy, you do not have a Rossaroo. My point exactly. Vaughn and Noah each have their own Rossaroo. That's why they should go to West Voss Forest where the mist is thicker. Hmm, I see. What you say makes sense, all right? I give my permission. Von Noah, I am sorry, but I must ask you to go to West Boss Forest. Master Teacher, get your ass in here. Master Teacher, are you there? Yes, sir. Master Teacher, you will accompany these two to West Boss Forest. But, but. Master Teacher, an elder's order is the same as a command from Byron. Y yes, sir. Good. Master Teacher, Songy, I'm counting on you. Now then, night has fallen. Let the party end. Ah, oh, come on. The party doesn't end just because it's nighttime. Anyway, ha ha ha. They're all fools. My strategy worked. The Rossaru must be in the first forest they picked, East Vaz. Now it's mine to take. Ha ha ha. So yeah, as you can see, it doesn't matter. You have to go west. So it is what it is. May Byron bless Songy on his journey to East Voss Forest. Thank you. Leave everything to me. <laughs> May Byron also bless Master Teacher and our two visitors on their journey to West Voss. Vaughn, Noah, good luck to you both. Hey, Master Teacher, can I ask you something? What? Man, this dude is so uptight. Master Teacher is a weird name. It's not a name, it's a title. So Master Teacher isn't your name? Then what is your name? Since you are not Byron Monks and need not call me Master Teacher, I will tell you. My name is... Um, bum, ba, da, bum. This is our third recruit for our journey. And sadly, our last, there are no, like, multiple groups of people that we'll encounter later on. You know, a lot of RPGs would give you a nice little variety that you can, like, pick and choose from and swap out party members. This game does not do that, which is kind of unfortunate. I always thought it was weird because there are so many elements in the game regarding the Seru that you encounter. And even Rosaru, technically, but you only get three instead of, like, six or seven or eight people. So I don't know why they chose to do that. I guess they were limited on time or space or... It was just what they wanted for this game. Nevertheless, all of that aside, you guys already know, I leave the default names. His name is Gala. I'm a Byron warrior monk. And your name is Gala. So let's just stick with it. I love his little pose. Looking good, Gala. My name is Gala. Gala, that's an interesting name. Well, don't get too friendly. I hate Saru. 
All right, dude, we heard you. Okay, so let's get out of here. And I believe the exits are out here. Yes. And we should be able to... Oh, Maya, Vaughn, Noah, it's about Rim Elm. Last night I was thinking about May, about Juno, and about something else. I want to have a long talk with you, but now the Genesis tree is more important. Let's talk later, after you come back. Well then, good luck. I'll be praying for your safe return. And another chunky... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I was losing my shit in the last episode with these sprites. They are so cute. Yes, sir. The wait is over. West Voss Forest lies northwest of here. Good luck. Oh, Jesus. He, like, opened that door and was not having it. Okay. So now we do the opposite of what happened last time. Let's open this shit. Oh, you guys, I forgot. Let me actually show you. Let's go to the style. Oh, my God. Status for Gala, who is level one. So we are going to need to do some leveling. And by we, I mean me. I obviously would not make you do that. And as you can see, his attribute is like lightning and thunder. So we know Noah is wind, Vaughn is fire. And that's kind of coming back to what I was mentioning, that I think it's weird that there are only three party members that only represent a small amount of the various elements that you do encounter in this game. But I guess that's okay. All right, so let's keep going. There's his information, and you saw his stats. You saw he was level one. We'll worry about equipping him and all that fun shit later on. He should be fine. I'm not too concerned about it. But before we do anything else, we want to again hug this left wall and get into fights because, of course, <laughs> that is the best way of handling everything. Shit, we were ambushed. Well, that's okay. We need to fight monsters anyway. That's going to be the second thing that I will do. But first things first. I will show you very shortly what I have in mind for us before we actually head to West Boss Forest. So, just so these guys don't kill us, I'm going to auto attack. Um, let's get B. And then I'm going to spear with Gala. We do have a few moves for him to learn. I mean, that goes without saying, right? We've got stuff for everybody to learn. Oh, come on now. Stop messing with Gala. Jeez. Oh my goodness, these birds, these monsters. As long as I don't fuck with Gala, I'm okay, but... They are not liking Gala at all. Ooh, Beak Slam. All right, Gala. Okay. So, let's do it again. I'm going to take care of B. Actually, I am going to heal Gala. I don't want his ass to die. Actually, no. That is probably an oversight to do that. He should be able to take... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to commit. Let me do what I was going to originally do. Let me heal him. Noah, you got this. Gala, now that you've spirited, let's go ahead and do... I will do... And it doesn't really matter. So I'll just leave it like this, because why not? Just so you guys can see what I'm doing. And as I learned the abilities and the arts. Please die. Okay, perfect. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. We'll get some heals off, which is always fabulous. I never get over Vera's animation. And since Vera has gotten levels in those Cure Venom, I don't know if I've pointed that out before. I tried to highlight the changes that our Seru will see. But sometimes I do forget to point it out. So don't mind me if I seem like I'm late to my own party here. All right, we'll just do the same shit. Let's get rid of Ostrich A. Yeah, let's do Ostrich A. We should have enough to do another one. Let's try... Oh, crap. I have to spare it. God damn it, Gala. You and your fucking bar. <laughs> well, I shouldn't be too mad at Gala. He can't help it. He doesn't have spirit. Ostrich A should die after Vaughn deals it a swift kick to the butt. All right, easy. And I'm going to 
Oh, I don't know. I kind of want them all to attack it, but I want Gala to get a chance to learn his ability. So I might actually have just Vaughn use Vera again because why not? Might as well. I'll have Noah attack. And let's do next. I was starting to do left, right. Then let's do, yeah, this. I think left, right, low is one. Well, if it's not, I will learn very quickly that it's, that it's not correct. <laughs> but I think that is one. I'm fairly confident. Yes, please don't focus, Gala. He should catch up in levels fairly quickly. So I'm not too worried about him being level one. It's more annoying than anything else. It's a bit of an inconvenience, right? And I didn't need to heal him, but why not? All right! Battering ram. He knocked the shit out of that Lippian. Okay, and here I'm just going to auto. And yeah, Gala doesn't have anything for his bar. I mean, two directions that he can do. He desperately needs some levels, which we're going to get him. All right, and more money! More money for me. I'm always happy about that. All right, now that we're out of that fucking fight, <laughs> let's go back to what I was trying to do. This is the place. The mist is so thick, it's full of a warped madness and the presence of evil. The mist is flowing from a strange castle beyond this valley. This valley is the passageway for the mist created by the mist generator. Tara, can't we go on ahead? I'm sorry, Noah. I know I'm a Rasaru, but I don't have the strength now. Or right now, if she had right in there. I don't know. I'll ad lib a little. <laughs> I know! I'll find the Genesis tree and make you stronger. Then you could get through here with no problem. Hmm? Who, who are you talking to? To Terra! Aseru? You can talk to Aseru. Uh-huh. Terra's nice. She's a good Seru. You're so strange. You give me the creeps, both of you. But no matter. Now, on to West Vos Forest, as Zopu instructed us. Hold your horses, Gala. We're not going there yet. Okay, I'll do my best. Of course, you will know us because you're Bay. All right, so the reason we came here is for another little secret-ish ivory book. Vaughn now has the ivory book, and let us arrange. Use. Where are you? There you are. Ivory book. Increases magic accrual. Basically, all this does is increase the absorption rate for Seru. And I think you guys already know where I'm going because if you come over here to magic, Noah ain't got shit, but she has Terra, so she should be able to get shit, and I'll show you where we can get some shit. So this is just something that I do. It is not necessary, per se. I mean, well, you'll see. I definitely think you need to get the ivory book, so just grab it even if you don't want to. I'm going to slap it on Noah, but you can put it on Vaughn instead if you prefer. That's up to you. So after you get your handy dandy book, what we will do is run past this path. And we're going where that mouth of the river is, the section that leads into the cave. We're probably going to get into a fight. Hopefully not. Oh my gosh. Well, that's okay. We've got some frogs. So I guess I'm just going to start by letting everyone spirit. That's just going to be best. I'm just going to pray that they don't focus Gala down. Oh, God damn it! Paralysis, really, you douchebags? Really? Okay. So we gotta kill these Lippians first, because they are not having our bullshit at all. Wow, nobody cares about your shit, frog. Thanks for revitalizing me and getting me back in the game, though. Okay, so I'm just going to auto... I'm getting rid of these Lippians. Let's get rid of Lippian A. I just want to kind of focus my fire here. All right, so last time we did left, right, low. So let's do... 
high, low, low should be good. And I think we all are doing Philippian A. So let's just keep it for consistency's sake. I hope Gala doesn't die. That would be absolutely terrible. So I might need to heal him this next round. Would y'all stop? Real talk. These things. So obnoxious. Holy shit. But that's fine. This fucking frog. He doesn't want to let Noah stay... Or Noah. Vaughn stay down. Iron Head will take care of that douchebag. Perfecto. But, of course, fucking Vaughn lost his turn. But whatever, that's fine. Let's heal Gala. I think I'm just going to auto-attack. I want to get rid of that other one. And I will, of course, spear it again with Gala. All right, good girl. Good girl. We got this. No problem. Easy. Go, Vaughn, go. And we've got Bear again. Bear might level up from this. I guess we'll have to see. Level. Nope. RNG is not on my side right now. Oh, I'm so glad I healed him. How did I know? Shenanigans. Always, always, always. Alright, so we will get a fourth ability learned for Gala. I want to get rid of this Lippian. And, okay, so last time we did... So we know Iron Head, Battery Ram, Flying Knee Attack. So I think I want to do left, right, left next. And I'm going to focus fire on that Lippian here. Like, the frogs aren't even a problem. It's those freaking Lippians and their paralysis. Oh, no, you guys. You took away my opportunity. All right, but at least Gala got a level. So when we come back in our next episode, we'll be sure to do left, right, left, so that we will learn that ability. But first, I got to get in this cave. I got to get in this cave. Okay. So the reason why I wanted to run our asses here is because there are some Seru here. And I'll let you guys wait until the next episode to see which Seru are in this cave. But we are going to have some folks ready to go and ready to be caught for both Noah and Vaughn. So yeah, that is what we will do here. We will also spend a bit of time learning the rest of Gala's moves. I have like three of his three directional hits left. And depending on how big his gauge can get, we might be able to learn some fivers later on. So we have like two four directional ones and then like three five directional ones that I'd like us to get, but we'll just see how things unfold. Nevertheless, just so that this doesn't go on for too long, I'm going to go ahead and sign off with you here. And like I said, when we come back together, we will tackle all of those things in that order before we actually head on over to West Boss Forest. And I would suggest that you do the same just to get Gala's levels up and to get everything that you need for Noah and for Vaughn in terms of magic. But anyway, as always, when I sign off for you or with you guys, I like to remind you that I am your host, Robin. This is my 100% item completion guide for Legend of Lagaya, and I cannot wait to see you in our next episode together. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.